It's still just about Halloween, so I figured maybe you'd like your very own demon. It's even one which can lie to you as well. As you can probably guess from the name, these nodes can help to enhance details in your Comfy UI generations, just like that peacock example. Reading about it here, they say it's a port of the SD Web UI Detail Demon as a node for Comfy UI to adjust the sigmas that generally enhance details and possibly remove unwanted background blurring, particularly with flux models, but it does also work with SDXL, SD 1.5 and likely other models as well. I'll be testing it here in Flux today. They give us four nodes, like they say, Detail Demon Sampler, Detail Demon Graph, Multiply Sigmas, and also that Lying Sigma Sampler. The main node is the most complicated one, and if this is too complex, then don't worry, as they have much easier options too. For the full explanation, see the link they have provided there to Detail Demon, and for a quicker explanation, you can check all the parameters they've nicely detailed here. So Detail Amount, that's the main value that adjusts the detail in the middle of the generation process. Positive values lower the sigmas, reducing noise removed at each step, which will increase detail. For flux models, they've got a range there, which is different for things like SDXL. Start, when do you want it to start? Obviously, and end, when you want it to end. There's also bias, exponent, start offset, end offset, fade, and smooth. Multiply sigmas are much easier node to use. As you can see there, it's just got one value. Simple node to multiply all sigmas noise levels by the supplied factor. It multiplies both the noise levels added and denoised by the factor, which somehow adds detail with a factor less than one. It is stateless, meaning it calculates the sigmas fresh on every queue, which is very handy. And like it says there, the only parameter is factor. So there, the default is 0.96, but you could go as low as maybe 0.95. And finally, the Lying Sigma Sampler. This one is quite humorous because it's got a dishonesty factor. That's the bit I like the most. So similar to the detail amount in the Detail Demon node, which we looked at just a second ago, this adjusts the amount of detail. Okay, so basically, you've got three different nodes and one extra one that gives you a graph to show what the things look like. Time to have a look at these in action then. This is the comparing detailers workflow they provide. And as usual, you can install the nodes using Comfy UI Manager. So here I'm gonna to go to Custom Nodes Manager, up in the search box, Detail Daemon, and there it is, Comfy UI Detail Daemon. Click Install, Restart, and you'll have all the nodes. Over here in the Load Checkpoints area, I'm using the more typical FP8 checkpoint in place of their example, and of course, you should pick whichever model you normally use. Their default prompt should generate a peacock for you. And over here, they've got a standard set of sampler parameters. So most of everything there is the same. That goes out to all the nodes. And up here, they start off with the default. So this one, no detailer, just your standard flux generation. And there we have our peacock. Next up is the Detail Demon Sampler. So here you can see, again, everything else is the same, but we've got a different sampler. So there, the Detail Demon Sampler. Now, that one is the one that's actually sending the values in. This one only does a graph. So if you change any of those values, all it will do is change the graph. It won't actually change this custom sampler. So do make sure you change them in there. That is only a graph. Comparing them over here then with this lovely comparison node. Okay, so that's one we saw before, the default peacock. And then as we bring the details in, you can see the image has changed a lot, but it definitely has a lot more detail. Lying Sigmas is the next example. And again, it's simply replacing the sampler. This time it's very much more like the default image. If I zoom in on this comparison node, there we go. Okay, so there is the default image. And as we bring this in, you can see lots more detail, but also more similar to the original default image. With Multiply Sigmas, it's back to the standard sampler. So we haven't changed the sampler here. That's going up to the other one there. But Multiply Sigmas is the one that is changing. Once again, you can see the image changes quite considerably from the default, but it does indeed have lots more details. 
all awesome stuff. So can we use something like this multiply sigmas with the unsampler we saw last week then? Well, yes, sure we can. So let's take a look at using that stateless multiply sigmas in a typical unsampler scenario. Though, of course, you can just as easily use it in any workflow. In order to generate an image to unsample, I'm using PixArt for this example, mostly because it's great at Halloween stuff. Do feel free to use whatever you like to make the image to unsample. Of course, you can just load an existing one. If we take a look over here at the unsampler. So there, I've got that image going into the unsampler. There is our standard unsampler workflow. But oh, what's this node we've got here? Yes, it's the multiply sigma. So we've stuck that in there after the basic scheduler as you compare it to the no malt one so there's the standard unsampler and there is the one with the multiply sigmas how do those images compare well let's take a look i've got another comparison node over here so once again as we bring this across oh yes we can see there are definitely loads more details certainly in the hands and the whole thing on the moon there that is definitely very much more detailed. Things aren't all sunshine and demonic roses though, so let's take a look at some other things that happened during my testing. Changing their example prompt to instead make my own very detailed demon, and you'll see some very interesting stuff going on. All right, so let's take a look over here. Now the default image, absolutely fine. There's our, there's our demon, he's nice, he's grinning, he's got a little bit of a beard going on there. But once I get down to the detailed demon, then that really is too much, isn't it? That's, that's too much detail and the image has changed far too much. Down here on the lying sigmas, that's pretty good, actually. That's not too bad. Now, the other thing I did here, because that had so much detail in, was I lowered the start and end. So it starts a little bit later and ends a little bit earlier than normal. So should be a little bit less detail. And he's, he's got lots in there. You could certainly on the ears there, those weird veins, lots of paint on the background. Yeah, I think that's a nice detail. Multiply Sigmas, on the other hand, gave me this. So yes, obviously completely different. Um, not entirely sure I'm pleased with that result. However, down here in Unsampler land, it's still absolutely fine. So let's compare these two once again. We can see as I bring this across, lots more detail in those horns and we're getting a sort of painting style on the background there so i think those extra details once again make a much better image will it help with faces and skin details too well let's take a look here i've asked for a detailed photo of mary Hollowface, who's 33 and from texas now the default sampler has sort of given us a photo uh she's got lots of things on her face i guess that's what a hollow face looks like but once again, the detail demon with those reasonably high settings there, it's, uh, yeah, it's gone all over the place. So here's a slightly different example with lower settings. So once again, I've made the graph there match these settings. It's a much smoother, smaller curve, so it hasn't changed as much. But as you can see, it has added in lots of details. Similar in many ways in this case then to the lying sampler version. As you can see, lots more stuff on her face, quite a lot more detail on that jacket. But um, if we look at the multiply sigmas, what's going on there? So there I tried it at 0 0.97 and there it is at 0 0.96. So once again, those multiply sigmas seem to be doing something a little bit strange down in unsampler world. And here we've got our person, which is of course a lot more photographic this time. The multiply sigmas is working nicely. And as we bring this across there, we can see a lot more detail in the face. Let's just zoom in there so you can see the difference. So normal flux face, so to speak, and there adding in just a little bit more detail. One final test then with an animate art style alien just to finish up on this Halloween special. So there we go, our default with no details. That's actually pretty, pretty good alien. He's got some sort of extra hands and stuff going on down there. And this time it's okay. Obviously the image is a lot more different from the default, but it's okay as far as details go. That's all right. In the lying sigmas, I've brought it in even more. So here, start percent 0 0.25, end percent 0 0.7. And it has still added some details in. As you can see, there's 
lots and lots of stars there. So if you don't want your image to change very much, then you can bring that start and end percentage back in. Multiply Sigmas, more happy with the anime art style alien. As you can see there, completely different and still a fair amount of detail. There you have it then, Detail Demon, a lovely set of nodes that you can easily slip into any of your workflows. Hope you have a very happy Halloween. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.